how to connect Facebook Pixel to Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can connect your Facebook Pixel to Shopify. This can help you in tracking your Shopify store's performance as well as getting and receiving key metrics that can help you in improving the overall lead magnets, the call to actions, and the overall performance of your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now to get started, the first thing you have to do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you are on your Shopify dashboard, click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, click on apps and sales channels. Then click on Shopify app store on the top right to open up the Shopify app store. Once you do that, you're going to search for pixel over here. And once you search for that, you will see an application and this should be no, if you can't find the application when you search for Pixel, just search for Facebook over here. And once you search for Facebook, you should find this application called Facebook and Instagram. So keep in mind, there are some unofficial applications called Facebook Pixel Conversion API. Those are not the real Facebook Pixel application. The real one is called Facebook and Instagram, and it should be by the developer Meta. So click on install over here and then complete the installation process of your Shopify application. So again, click on install on the Shopify dashboard to complete the installation. Now, once we have installed our Facebook and Instagram application, I'm just going to pin this to my navigation on the left. And once I've done that, I can get started with adding my Facebook pixel. So click on get started over here and you have to connect your Facebook account. So I'll click on connect account and this will automatically use the Facebook account that is logged in on the same browser. I have already logged on to my Facebook account that I want to link into my browser. After that, you will see this is my Facebook pixel called Jane Doe. Now I can go on ahead and link it directly to this pre-existing Facebook pixel. However, if you want, you can also go on ahead, click on create new business account and create a new business account as well. Now, once you click on connect, you will see a few settings. So this is your data sharing preference where you choose how much data you want to share with Facebook. Shopify will keep your settings up to date with the most appropriate and effective ad tech. Then for my preference, I like to keep it at, at, at enhanced. And then I'll just click on save over here. Below that, you will see connect a pixel to track customer conversion. So as you guys can see, I have Jane Doe's Facebook pixel, which is my business account on Facebook. I can connect that. Or if you want to create a new individual Facebook business account pixel, for your Shopify store, you can create that as well. But I'll just click on connect over here and then agree to Meta's terms and conditions. Once you do that, you're going to click on submit for review and in a couple of seconds, your setup is going to be finalized. So you guys can see it's finalizing my channel setup. And once this has been completed, I can get started with tracking all of the key metrics of my Shopify store in Facebook Pixel. Facebook Pixel has a lot of utilities if you know how to properly use it and effectively use the information you receive from it onto a improvement strategy for your store. So now that Facebook Pixel has been installed, you guys can see in my overview, I can get started with running ads on Facebook and Instagram. Plus on the right, you have product statuses where you can choose to sell your products on Facebook and Instagram. Now, first off, I will click on publish product on the bottom right. And then over here, I'm going to select all where I'm going to select Facebook and Instagram as a sales channel for my shop store. Click on include products over here. And now these products will be included. Now I can get started with the ads manager. So I'll open up my business profile on Facebook. And once I open this up, as you guys can see over here on the left, I have audiences, ad reportings, all tools. Then I have my business settings, my commerce manager, and every all of my data will be imported to the new Facebook pixel that we have. And on the top, you have more ad accounts as well. Now to get started with my own ad campaign, what I'm going to do 
is I am going to go into overview and click on create ad and this opens up your ad manager on Facebook directly. From here you will see all of your info and you can click on create over here and get started with building Facebook ad campaigns. So Facebook ad campaigns usually need to have one particular objective. Make sure you are certain about your objective. For stores that are just starting out, usually your objective is going to be awareness because all of these steps are basically listed in the format of your store's progression. So usually the first campaign is going to be for awareness, the second is going to be for traffic, the third is going to be for engagement, then leads, then app promo, then sales. So let's say I want to directly find people that are likely to purchase my product. So my main goal for this is conversion. So I'll click on continue over here. After that, we can get started with setting up our ad campaign. Click on continue. And once you do that, your ad campaign is ready to be set up. Now on the top, you can name your ad campaign and add a special ad category. And then you have your conversion purpose. Because we only have a Shopify store, we're only going to be linking our website. And then we also have a performance goal our Facebook pixel that is being linked and then the rest of our conversion events, our cost per result goal, as well as the click-through rates and the overall budgeting of our Facebook ads. And in this way, you can set up Facebook pixels on your actual account. So for Shopify, it's really not that hard. A lot of people just download the wrong application and because they download the wrong application, they are, you know, going to lose their access properly. So it's very important that you go on ahead and use the correct Facebook and Instagram application to add your Facebook pixel to your Shopify store. Plus, the Meta Business Suite has a lot of other tools available as well that can help you in making sure that your business account is able to support you on directly from Facebook and Instagram and drive more conversion to your Shopify store as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video